Hello, class. How are you today? Hello, teacher. Excellent. Thank you. Okay. Well, today I would like to talk about the topic of artificial intelligence. Have you heard of it before? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So when talking about AI, okay, we, I would like to talk about three main things. What are the main challenges of adopting AI in English classes? And the opportunities um, it could um, give us in English classes and the strengths and weaknesses of artificial intelligence. So from a teacher's perspective, I feel that the main challenges are having the knowledge and the skills using the tool. It is a very new new tool and teachers um, haven't um, used it in their schools or in their classrooms yet. And so training, I believe, is very, very essential. Um, so as a student, what do you think are the main challenges of adopting um, AI in your English classes? Very good. I agree. It's, it takes away from creativity. Okay, and you, John? Okay, for me, I agree with the teacher, Paola, because depend on of also what the, the people, because people use depend on about the different strategies. I suppose these tools helps uh, with, our, I don't know, business or a school, but uh, when the students, for example, use artificial intelligence, depend on what the strategy is because all time is lazier, yeah? Because use in artificial intelligence, but don't use the correct form. Uh, uh, in this case, uh, the students, for example, yes, all time use, but, but not read, but all time copy page, yeah? The information but not assume the, the control about the information or read, but uh, for example, when do you read about the word, different workshop about the students, you know it's in artificial intelligence because for example, when the copy page is not read, a uh, copy page GPT for data information about the, the test or about the, the homework, I don't know. Right, I I agree. As a teacher, um, we have different tools to check plagiarism. Um, however, uh, with AI, it's a different story. Um, it's so advanced that and so personalized that it's very very difficult as a teacher to know if a student has plagiarized or not. Um, wh which um, makes a teacher have to change and their lesson plans and the way and certain and um, I would say um, topics are are studied or learned in class for example and um, if we're going to do a writing in class I would say that a teacher in the first week of school should um, give a writing in class to know the writing level of each student 
when they do have to do a home assignment, a uh, writing home assignment, well, it would be easier to check them for plagiarism. And what opportunities are there? Um, other opportunities for um, AI in an English class, or maybe the, the strengths, right, for a student. Um, what strengths would you say, um, or what, how could you use it um, as a benefit um, as a student for, um, in an in English class? Yeah, very good. Yeah, because for example, when the teacher Paula said, I I think when do you, for example, use artificial intelligence, uh, you interact is about information or for example, uh, now uh, uh, we, we use um, artificial intelligence. When do you write, for example, information about the English translated? It is important because all time is not correct. Use the it's not a different mistakes. When do you don't read about information? Is possible? Uh, don't pay attention about the different mistakes about information. But it's good. Yeah, it's benefits because when do you use it? Yeah, artificial intelligence uh, helps uh, when you open your minds because I don't know confuse. Okay. For example, about the Congor, uh, please tell me about this Congor because I don't understand uh, or the strategies. Yeah, it is important as benefits. Yeah, but when the students don't use the correct ways, yeah, it's difficult for me. I think. Yes, I agree. I am. Um, you can. There are many different cases that you can come um, come across. For example, if you have a student who doesn't speak Spanish or English in your classroom, well, you can personalize um, artificial intelligence to um, for that student, and and they can learn it um, through their first language, and at the at the beginning, and hopefully with time, and they'll they'll become more fluent in the native language where. It wouldn't be um, as necessary. Um, I would say, personally, as a um, as a teacher, um, I have used it in my classroom, and the um, positives are that it it does um, get your your students to pay attention, and since it's such a modern, since it's just um, such a modern technology, um, the kids are interested. The students are interested, and you you do capture their attention um, when you use it in class. Now, on the other hand, um, it is it could become a distraction, um, because since that since they're on their devices, and um, who knows what they're doing on that device, right? And so I believe it could lead to distraction, and they might use it for non-educational purposes. Um, and what I've noticed is that it is limited, so it's great because you can you can use it um, for quizzes, for tests, for um, lesson planning. But I I found it, and maybe it's because I I don't have the knowledge and skills yet. But it, I found found it very repetitive, and it it didn't cover my necessities for certain quizzes and tests. And so I, I did come in, I, I did find it uh, useful, but at the same time, uh, limited. Um, have you ever used it in your classrooms? 
Well, you're the student, so as a, as students, have you used it for to learn grammar or to help you with writings or to understand a book? Right. 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 Yeah, in my, in my classes, I have used it, uh, 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 but not all time, yeah, but use it, for example, with the lesson plans, because okay. when you use it, artificial intelligence help me, uh, for example, the different mistakes or organize my, my ideas uh, in my class, uh, and for example, vocabulary and meanings use it, or quizzes, yeah, use it in this case, uh, artificial intelligence. Because when when the I don't know, yes, student, yeah, when the teacher said, teacher Paula said, a student look uh, my laptop and use it, chat GPTs, I don't know, said, what happened, teacher? Do you use a uh, GPT? But it's, right. I depend they use it, yeah? Right. Because As if I it were illegal. It's, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because use it the other way. It's not time only, okay. Uh, make my homework, do my homework, please, about, I don't know, this topic. But no, or writing. Uh, please, writing, please, me about this information now. Because right. I suppose when a teacher use it with the correct, well, correct word, yeah, it's better. But I suppose depend on the teacher because uh, all time, but I, I, I know the difference. Uh, teachers use chat DPT, but in this case, all time. But it's difficult, you open your mind or you uh, accuse your, your mind with a uh, laser because your knowledge is limited, yeah. Right. I think I think here we we are all um, on the same page. I think we're, we're, we're all three of us agree that um, we're we don't have enough knowledge and skills and training and as a teacher to teach it and as a student how to use it properly right this that's that's what we're saying here and i think we all agree on that and going back to that i i would say that when when if you are at a school which uses artificial intelligence hopefully and you will get trained and you will learn how to teach through AI, but also how to teach students how to use it properly, legally, right? And so there, I do find that um, there are a lot more advantages than disadvantages. And as long as teachers um, have the knowledge and know how to teach through artificial intelligence, right? So as a teacher with my students, I have sat down with them and I taught them um, how to use it properly. So when they get information, it's just like any other research project, right? You read and from that information, you use your own words, right? To express your point, your opinion and whatever the topic is. Um, because in the, at the end of the day, if you copy, it's plagiarism, right? And I think before AI, as a teacher, we've always had a problem with, with it. And even with AI, we're going to continue struggling to know who plagiarized or not. Right. Um, so. 
let's let's wrap it up. Let's, so as a, I, I think what I just expressed in, is the conclusion that I I I understand from the three of us that um, give it time and learn more about it, right? Use it more and maybe get some training, right? Even as students, right? Students had to get training for um, writing, for researching. Well, here is just a new tool that they have to learn how to use. Would you like to add anything to the to the, our conversation? Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's agreed about according to the information. Yeah, because I suppose depend the use. I say it all time because depend the use, but that's I don't know if students or teacher use with the better way. Yeah, because okay. all time is not bad. I suppose it's benefits when you use it the correct ways about the AI. Yeah, it's better for everyone. Yeah, right. As long as you use it correctly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, nice to nice talking with you, and we can talk about it on, on another day. <laughs> okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Have a good night. Okay. Good night.